One of my favorite tools or brushes to use in Corel Painter is the Glow Tool. And that's this little star wand down here on my uh, brush dock here. And it's just, it's loads of fun. It adds really neat effects. It's, it's almost a little like dodge um, in a way, except it's dodge with color. And it achieves this by lightening and adding color in the center while also darkening the surrounding area of wherever you're painting. So I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use it now. Um, one thing about Glow is that it's definitely very affected by the color that you choose in your color palette over here to the right and very much the saturation and the lightness. I tend to stay in with the darker colors and you'll see why in a second. I also tend to keep the Glow tool relatively low on strength. Um, usually under 50 percent, oftentimes in the 20s. So we're going to go and work in her eye area here with glow. You'll see how it adds color and but also like a really white hot spot in the center while also darkening the surrounding area. So then I can go back in and work with what I've painted, just kind of blend it. And it's sort of a shortcut, you know, I could easily add all of these colors myself with the airbrush tool and then go in and blend them. Oopsie. But using glow is definitely a bit of a shortcut. So that's just a simple way with the eyes there. I also use that tool a lot when I'm painting metal. Let's see, what color do we want here? Again, it's created a shine and a hot spot where the light's really hitting this metal piece. Now you'll notice that as I used it, it darkened out here in an area that maybe I didn't want it to darken. And that's easy to avoid by just turning on preserve transparency for the layer that you're working in. And then you won't have um, the darkening outside of the area that, you, that you're painting if you don't want it there. And then again, I can go back in and blend what I've done. give it a painterly feel. I'm also not afraid to use um, dodge and burn in Corel Painter, and Corel Painter especially. You can really control how dodge and burn work. Um, and, and have them be more influenced by their surrounding colors and the colors that they're interacting with rather than just, you know, white and black. Um, so for instance, you can come in here with Dodge and it, and it also gives a bit of a hot spot if you want it. So it, you have to be really careful with it. But a lot of digital painters will tell you, you know, don't ever use Dodge and Burn, it's completely evil. Well, no tool's evil, just there's, you know, there are very few truly evil things in this world. It's more how you use them and how these things are used. So it's not that dodge or burn are evil. It's 
how you use it and you shouldn't rely on them. Um, but as I said, especially in Corel Painter, you can use color with burn as I have set up here. And you'll see that as I'm burning, it's burning almost a dark green. And I can go in here with the color and now I'm burning in like an orange because that's what I have selected in my color palette. So again, I could go in with another layer and apply this with as a color with airbrush and um, you know multiply and, and get the same effect. But these are the tools that work for me and, and how I work. I just find that there's there's a buildup that happens with burn that that I appreciate as I'm working. Glow is also really good to add for adding uh, sort of two layers of highlights to hair in one stroke. And I'll show you what I mean. I use it to add a lighter color highlight through in here, and then I'm going to use it smaller. to add even more with those really shiny hot spots again. And I'll go in and blend again to re-establish a painterly feel with the piece. I'm not trying to make this look airbrushed. I, I want to say brush strokes. But again, I just achieved two levels of highlight with one tool. To get lighter highlights more readily, we would pull up on our color palette over here to the right. I was using a very dark color to get the effects that I was getting before, but if I pull up and my color palette into a lighter blue, you'll see how very quickly you get a very the same effect, but it, it comes up much quicker. And I actually tend to prefer to really build it up, but sometimes like here uh, around this strong highlight around the top of her hair, I don't want to wait quite as long. I don't want to sit there with the brush strokes for quite as long. And that's using the glow tool.